Whatever people are as adults, children are not sexual in primary what, schools. What you're doing do is not suggesting that all drag queens are sexual. That's you, you, not true. Well, a lot of them are, and a lot sexual. of them going into schools are, and it's been done without parental consent as well, and that's a terrible thing. Well, it, because the suggestion and, is and that the drag along, queen is somehow inherently inappropriate? Agenda. Absolutely, for children of a young age. I disagree. Because what the agenda is, is the whole transgender agenda, is to confuse children about whether they're boys or girls. A lot of... Oh, the, the number of children who are presenting with gender dysphoria... So no one's ever been in drag days, in a children's television program? The number program? of children who are presenting with gender dysphoria has gone up over 8,000% okay. well, over the, the last decade. Well, cancel the then. Cancel and the we're talking game. about drag queens going saying. into the drag. very it's youngest of children in primary school and with sexualized materials. You mentioned... Children's books, a lot of them these days, are not nice children's books like Paddington Bear and Enid Blyton. They're things that are... Enid Blyton? What do you mean, the three gollywogs? You think that's a pleasant book? What were the names of those gollywogs? You can't even say it on the channel. The number of books, a lot of the books going in... A lot of the books, if I can finish, please, you know. Right, guys. Okay, Michelle, go. Enid Blyton, Everyone at home's ears will be hurting. Golly Woggy and who? Those were the names of the three well, golly Woggy well, Enid Blyton. But come on, you think that's is beautiful? That you think that's good literature for kids? A Give me a point break. Hang on, hang on, on Dana, don't, don't take this off track because we're not talking about Enid Blyton. We're talking about... He was. I was asking you, why is it necessary? Because I'm genuinely trying to understand because to me... It's entirely unnecessary to do this with children. Well, I think at the end of this article, they do talk about how uh, 50 non, uh, sorry, trans or gender non-conforming people were actually met with violence. Because I think what happens is when you don't, a lot of people Stay live, away from people's kids. You don't need to it, Sorry, the implication that somebody, because they're trans, that there's some kind of a child molester is actually why? the reason why, why certain does people are being sued right, right now. Why? Sorry. Why does this That's matter? discrimination. Uh, why does there seem no. to be such an ideological drive from this movement to be around people's kids leave them alone oh my god give me a break kids are part of the world drag queens are part of the world they're not these scary people that you would like to be as someone who's going to molest your kid in the toilet it's just it's not nobody and that's why there's so much violence sexualizing children Full Nobody's stop. sexualizing children. They are reading I'm just a you book. Several examples. Let me give you those are in a Give me a break. In Houston, headed organizations who sponsored Drag Queen Story Hour. He was also arrested for um, harboring child abuse images. There, there is, and this a happens danger. in classrooms where people, there are no drag queens gave, as well. Right, these are independent girls, incidents, and, and it doesn't. It's not there because they're drag queens. Dangerous. This give me a break. Utopia that you live in. It's not a utopia that I live in. These these instances happen in the heterosexual. Oh, sorry, okay. they do. All right, last question, very, very briefly. I've only got about 20 seconds left, Dana. Are you not concerned about the amount of children that are now struggling with their gender identity? 11-year-old drag queens. Hang on. Are you not concerned about that? <laughs> I'm concerned about trans people who are closeted and feel so ashamed in this world because they don't see any representation, in the, uh, representation of themselves and often have higher numbers of suicide, self-harming, keeping themselves away from society. They are part of our society. And I'm sorry, the implication that a drag queen is inherently sexual or that they're going to do something well, with your kids children, is bigoted. Children are not trans and should not be indoctrinated into this trans ideology and confused. That's what causes a lot of the trans gender dysphoria. Trans ideology is not which, an ideology. Uh, they need to be protected Gender dysphoria from. is medically recognised. Right. OK, Durkey, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed your tea and the debates. Thank you very much to my panel. That is unfortunately all we've got time for.